Welcome back to the channel, Chiefs Kingdom. Today, we're diving into the latest updates from the NFL's football operations, covering fines from Week 8, crucial injury news, and lineup changes as we gear up for Week 9. If you're a Chiefs fan, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up for more updates. The NFL recently announced some fines from the Week 8 games, with two penalties stemming from the Chiefs' divisional win over the Raiders. Chiefs quarterback Joshua Williams was fined $639 for unnecessary roughness after a late hit in the third quarter. Meanwhile, Raiders quarterback Yukorian Bennett received a $622 fine for a hip drop tackle in the second quarter. These fines reflect the physicality both teams displayed on the field during this intense matchup. As we approach Week 9, the Chiefs are facing some challenges in their secondary. Starting cornerback Jalen Watson has been ruled out for the remainder of the regular season. Additionally, head coach Andy Reid confirmed that cornerback Nazee Johnson will miss Week 9 due to a concussion. This creates an opportunity for Joshua Williams to step up as a starter against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Chiefs defensive coordinator Steve Spagnuolo recently reviewed the performances of both Johnson and Williams from Week 8. He acknowledged some strong moments, but also pointed out areas for improvement. Notably, he emphasized Williams' late hit penalty as something they'll focus on going forward. According to Pro Football Focus, Williams played 39 defensive snaps and had a solid grade in run defense and tackling, but there's room for improvement in coverage. He allowed an 1.8.8 passer rating on one target, resulting in a 17-yard reception and the penalty that we mentioned earlier. Williams shared his thoughts on his growth on October 31st, saying, I'm going into my third year now, so there's definitely some experience that comes with it. Had this been my rookie year, it could have been a more difficult adjustment. The Chiefs will also be missing key players this week, including wide receiver Juju Smith-Schuster, hamstring, defensive end Mike Dana, pectoral, and tight end Jared Wim, knee. Another player to keep an eye on is tight end Peyton Hendershot, who joined the Chiefs this season from the Dallas Cowboys. He faced a minor setback after Week 2, and incurred a $100,000 fine for a sideline incident, but he's expected to contribute once he's healthy. That wraps up this update, Chiefs Kingdom. It's a critical time for the Chiefs as they navigate lineup changes and prepare for the Buccaneers in Week 9. Don't forget to subscribe for more Chiefs news, hit that notification bell, and drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time for more Chiefs updates.